Hi, this is Natalie from Namaste Farms, and today I'm going to teach you how to take care of your fleeces and how to show fit an animal for a fleece show. Okay, so Tara, this is my friend Tara, and she's going to um, help hold this little ewe, and this little ewe is a yearling, but she's real, real small, and um, she was bottle fed, so she's pretty gentle, and that'll that'll help um, that'll help us do this. But yours might not be so nice, <laughs> um, and so there might be some fighting involved. Usually you'll have a fitting stand, and I do have a fitting stand from Sidell, but it's really big and it's just cumbersome, so it's easier for me to do it this way. Okay, so I haven't taken this blanket off this this uh, you this year, um, but I'm, we're gonna take it off now, and I'm just gonna show you right what I would do for her, um, both if I was going to sell the fleece and if I was gonna show her. Hang on. So um, I don't necessarily, if I'm gonna let them grow any longer than this to show, I'd probably start taking the blanket off now because I don't like their fleece to look different in the neck than underneath the blanket. And this is gonna start getting sun bleached from being in the sun. And I just don't like it not being uniform. And so if I was going to show her, let's say black sheep gathering or organ flock and fiber, I'd probably take this blanket off now so that there was some uniformity. Cause I just think it looks funny to have like this area look different than the neck. Technically, you're not supposed to ever wash your sheep with soap. You can rinse them, and that's really um, uh, sort of just, it's, it's like an unsaid thing. They say that it's a suggestion to not wash them, and like in fairs, I know that you can if you're um, showing fleece breeds, but they usually trim, you know, they'll, they'll trim these fleeces really short, and when we show at fiber festivals, that's not what we do. We want these fleeces to be really long. And the minimum length is two inches. That it can be, it shouldn't be shorter than that if you're gonna show it at a fiber festival, and if you are gonna show it at a fiber festival, it probably should be longer than that. I like to have my fleeces like six inches. Okay, so I look at her and I can see, like see this bridge area? When you're showing an animal, you want uniformity from the front of the shoulder all the way through the bridge. And I can see right here how this bridge, I've talked about this before, the bridge often is like straight and not very pretty. I'm gonna show you how to fix this. The other thing is you can see how this belly wool, it looks all messy. We're gonna trim this because we want it to make this look like she has a really nice long underline. So it's sort of an optical illusion and you are allowed to trim these animals. You're not allowed to trim all their belly wool off. So what I'm gonna do first is because this is kind of matted together, it seems counterintuitive that you would do this, but I wanna break it up. Now if I was gonna shear her, I probably would do this also, but if I saw she had bridge like this and I was gonna sell this fleece, this would be skirted out. I wouldn't even give you this because I don't think you should have to pay for fleece that's completely different than the rest of the animal. Um, and so this would be gone, like any of this and all of this. Okay, but I wanna break this up because I'm gonna trim it. Hang on, sorry, sorry, sorry. They need cover from speech. So I'm just breaking it up a little bit. Oh, 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 easy, easy. They hate to be touched here and you have to understand it's very primal. Like, you know, if a coyote or a predator was grabbing a hold of them. Okay, so the first thing we know, and when we're showing an animal, is that um, when they judge them, it's going to be 60% on fleece, and it's going to be 40% on confirmation. And so I want the fleece to look really good, but I also want her to, to you know, I want to make up for any confirmational flaws she might have, or just make her accentuate the good parts of her. Like, she's really wide in here, which is great. And I'm going to make, want to make it look even wider. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start trimming off. And don't make it look really, I don't cut these ends too much right here because I don't want to make it look like I've done this. And some people will just start hacking and make these big cut spots and I don't want that. I want it to look pretty natural. And I'm going to cut off all these tags. So these are all tags. This is all has to, and even if I was going to, if I was going to shear, just shear her for this fleece, I wouldn't, I would just, just shear this off. But since I'm show finning her, it's totally different. So I'm gonna come in here and just cut all this. Just get all this away from her. And you're gonna be amazed at how beautiful she'll look. Okay, come in, look at the behind here. How we wanna make this area look. We wanna make it look, you know, like a lot, you know, even wider because having this area for the udder is really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut in here and I'm gonna cut these this fleece off these legs right here and make this area even wider. And I'll just keep cutting and keep cutting. And I don't want this, this looks really scrappy and scraggly, so I'll cut this. Because I want her to have a nice, just a nice leg. I want to have her, you know, I just want her to look really nice and even and see how I'm making this distance. It's like really increasing in here. 
And then right here, there's a V that usually is here kind of, and I'll kind of help make the V. See, right in there. I don't want to cut like in here and make this all, I don't want to ruin this, but I want to make this V so she's got a nice separation here. And I'll do it, instead of cutting this outer stuff, except for where it had tags, I'm not gonna cut it, it's just gonna be big hack marks, so you have to be really careful about where you're cutting. You wanna kinda cut underneath where no one can see big, you know, hand shear marks. And I would do the same if she was a, if she was a, a ram. I'd make this really nice and wide here. And I'd take it. I just wanna make this nice and clean in here. And then these like pieces of fleece on the outside, it looks really ugly. I'm just gonna take those off. Okay, so we did this. We'll just kind of clean her up a little bit here. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so this bridge area, this is where trimming really helps. So I'm gonna take, and I, you don't wanna make it too short because when they're touching your animal, they don't wanna see that this is way shorter than the rest of the animal, right? Because they'll know what you've been doing. But you wanna get these ends off because we're gonna try to get it to spring back up and make it not look so britchy. But like I said, if I was selling this fleece or showing this fleece, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. You're okay, you're okay, baby. You're okay, sweetie, you're okay. But see, okay, so it was all matted and ugly before. And just even me just taking those little ends off is already helping. See, I don't take much length off. I just take enough that it's gonna not look so flat and ugly, and I don't like these ugly pieces here. I just want it to look beautiful. And then I'm gonna take this, this is a combination of mineral oil and water, and I put like only a few tablespoons of mineral oil in this full of water, and I'm gonna spritz her. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay, baby. And believe me, she's not even acting that bad. And um, she's a Wensleydale, and they can fight a lot harder than this. And I'm gonna fluff it her up. Ho, 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 ho. It's okay, baby. It's okay, and I'm just gonna fluff. And I'm gonna just add some spring back into everything. I'm gonna spray her all over. And I'm just gonna bring life back in here. If I was gonna grow her fleece really long, this is exactly what I would do. I would come in here and take that blanket off and open up her locks and I would run my fingers through them. Oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay, sweetheart. It's all right, babe. it's okay. It's okay. And you would have to go through and you have to open these locks with your, it's really labor intensive. So you go through and I open up every one of these locks and I would spray, keep spraying her, keep spraying her like this. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Hold under her right here. Yeah, put your hand on her chin, right under there. She might be good. Yeah, and there's like a nerve right under her chin. That might, okay, so just keep breaking apart these locks. Now that it's got this mineral oil and water on it, Fluff it up. Now I want this underline to look really long. And so I'm gonna take these, and you're not allowed to shave belly wool like you are in meat breeds, but you can trim it. It's hot. And see how this starts right here? I wanna make this longer. So I'm gonna kinda of cut a straight line. And I'm gonna trim this down because I want her to be really long under here. And if you, this is a boy, his pizzle's right here and you have to be very careful. So I would never go under here and do this if it was a boy without really paying attention because you don't want to cut the pizzle. And then pull this down. And be really, I try to get underneath, inside. I don't try not to trim this outside too much or you'll have big marks, like big um, shear marks. And I just follow the natural angle of her leg I don't want it to look like, you know, we've messed around with her too much. Oops. Trim these legs. Trim that. Fluff her up and then find, I look and I go along here and I take off any of these hairs that I see, like this wool that's sticking out. And I just try to make it look nice and flat. Then I look at her top line and we want her to be really long here. And if she were to have any dips or like, areas that you know like if she had a big puff here and then like a dip here that wouldn't be good i mean you want her to have a really nice level top line and i would trim the fleece here 
but she looks pretty good. We just got a decent top on her. And I would just kind of, you know, fluff her up and make sure that I'm using her wool to cover up any imperfections. Okay, same thing here that I did here. So I cut this back because I want to make her underline longer. I'm going to do it to the front. See all this wool? There's like two inches of wool here. I'm going to cut this because I want to make her longer, her underline long. And I go in here and I trim this away. And once again, you don't see me trimming out here. I'm trimming inside because I don't want big hack marks. And a lot of people do that and it looks horrible. And then this shoulder is a really nice, this is the best fleece right here on the shoulder. And you want to make sure that you fluff this up beautifully. I'm gonna, and the neck is another area that's like the bridge where the fleece a lot of the time is not super curly. And so you're going to want to trim just like I did here. You're going to want to come over to the neck and do the exact same thing. And she's got a line here because she's had a blanket on. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and spritz her here. Spritz, spritz, and come, come over here and see how straight it looks because it's been sticking out of that blanket. I'm going to break apart any mat, you know, like from the blanket with my hands. And there's t there's plenty of mineral oil in here that helps break it apart. Right? And see pieces like that. I don't want that ugliness to, I want it to go and be curly again. So I'll just trim the ends off. See here how it's straight looking? Once I put mineral oil on it and then I trim the ends off. And I want these, I don't want these pieces sticking out. So I will trim this too. I want to make a nice area right between her legs here, so that's why I'm trimming like it kind of square. Just take all this, make sure she doesn't have any mats, release any wool. Just keep pulling it, and then all these ends that are straight, we're going to cut those off. Is your back killing you yet? <laughs> that's what beer's for. Okay, and then here, this is more kind of matting from the blanket. And I'm just going to keep conditioning it with this mineral oil and spritzing it. It's just like if you have really curly hair and you need to like put the curl back in it. This is what we do. Here. But I can already see the curls coming back in her neck. Cut these little ends off. Cut them. this and you, they can't be wet when you show them so you have to do this enough time before the class like if you're in Oregon you can't do this an hour before the class because it's not you know especially if it's in the morning because it's not going to be hot enough to dry and the judge doesn't want to come over and feel you know mineral oil and water on your animal they'll know you're you know not, you're, they're trying to hide something it's not against the rules to do this it's just you just don't want to advertise that, you know, your animal isn't perfect and that you had to do stuff to it. And I'm just going to keep doing this. So and as far as this on her leg, I don't I want her distance the same thing. I want to cut all the inside of this wool here and cut any mats off like that. But I don't want to leave big chunks. If there was a mat and it was going to leave a big chunk, I'd leave the mat. Because I don't want, you don't want to have these, you know, you just don't want it to look bad like you've done a lot to it. And here, I would break it apart. And this is what I do if I'm growing my fleeces really long. When I tell people I pick through my fleeces, this is exactly what I do. I would not cut, I would not cut except if there were mats. But I take my hands through the fleece and mineral oil. This is exactly what I do. And if there's parts that I don't like, you know, um, I might trim them down to see if we can make them better. But this is for adding handle too. Feel back in. And not like these sun bleach tips I told you, I don't want it to look different. I don't want this part to look different than the rest of her. Okay, now if you look at this side and see that I've kind of trimmed this just a little, and then you go to the other side, um, go to the other side and see that this looks a lot better, just even right there. Then you go to that side. And you can see like, look at, look at here on her neck. 
and you just can just see this looks like kind of unruly and not very nice and the same with this is like the bridge so the bridge this is how it looks if you don't do it and then if you go to the other side and you see what it looks like if you do do it and another thing that I would do is if it was um, a week before the show, this is exactly what I would do. I would trim her feet. I make sure I don't trim them too short because you obviously don't want them limping in the show pen, so you don't want to make a mistake. You know, go ahead and trim them a little long. And I would rinse her. And then I would put her probably in a pasture or someplace where she's not going to get vegetation. And I would just let the curls relax. And for the, like the next week, if I was going to show her, she wouldn't have a blanket on. Then if I was going to keep her and I was going to have her and want to grow her fleece like longer than six inches, I would do the same thing. I'd put her in the pasture and um, I would not, I would just leave her alone and just let it grow. And then I would take her out about once a month and I would put my, I do the exact same thing I'm doing here with the exception of trimming her. I'd spritz her and I'd run my fingers through her fleece and make sure there's no matting. Um, so if you have any questions, you can write me at lilyback.com or um, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Ravelry. Um, thanks Tara. Thank you OH Crews, um, our feed sponsor and the Perfection line of feeds. Uh, thank you so much and thanks for watching.